Hi, it's Tony Tricelius from Cheap Scrapbook Stuff, and I'm coming to you with this week's Hump Day Inspiration. So today we did something a little bit different. I worked with four different 6x6 paper pads and did four different layouts using the 6x6 paper pads. So there's really no collection to look at first. Um, I'll show you the paper pad I used, and then I used... Um, a couple of different thickers and some washi tape from other lines to um, complement the layouts. So here's the first one. And this one is from Die Cuts with the View, Sparkling Snow is the collection. Here's the picture of the papers. And here's my layouts. So what I did on this one was I took a sheet of just, um, white so snowboard is what it's called white cardstock and used that for the base and then I took uh, three inch squares of one two three four different papers and I just kind of set them up um, randomly or in a grid pattern and then I took some washi tape from mittens and mistletoe I used the gold and I um, outlined my grid and um, it kind of sets off the gold and besides that it really helps hide um, the lines if you can't cut straight which um, I cannot do I flunked cutting in kindergarten so it kind of helps hide your lines so that was that was the top and the bottom now you could put the grids both on the bottom you could put them in the middle of the page however you want to do it I did top and bottom and then I just took a couple more strips of paper and ran them on the top. So this is probably an inch and a half. This is probably um, three inches and this is probably an inch, but I'll measure them and set them out to kind of look like strips of paper. And then finally to embellish the page, I used thickers. So I used these, it's called All is Bright, and I actually used this set of thickers on three different layouts. So there are 98 stickers in here and there's a lot of options in a lot of colors. So you can see I took Happiest Holidays and um, Magical and the Gold. And then the tag here is from one of the sheets of paper. So that was the first layout. So the second layout, the camera down. The second layout comes from another die. These are all die cuts with the view. This one's called Cozy Noel. So this one is greens. There's the papers on the back. And what I did on this one is I took a sheet of taupe shimmer cardstock and used that for the base. And then I took um, two different pattern papers, two sheets of each. So there's two sheets of each pattern in here. Um, and I cut them into three inch squares, which I then cut in half to give me triangles. And you can see how I set them up on the page. Kind of a quilting pattern. Um, so I set them up on the page and I kind of mixed them up the dots and the words you don't have to do that you could do them all on one if you want and then I took two more pages and just cut four inch squares and set them on the diagonal so that was it for that layout and then for the title I used thickers evergreen and holly was the thickers I used um, again you could use some of the papers in the pad um, and cut them out on a die cut machine or other letters you have. Either way, I thought the thickers matched nicely. Um, so that was it for the second layout. And the third layout. The third layout I used Joyful Christmas is the six by six I used. And here's the papers. This one's red and greens. And on this one, I took parrot cardstock, so green cardstock. And what I did was I took, there's one strip of paper in here 
um, it's this one if you can see it on the camera and it's like border strips so I took that strip and I cut the border strips so they're all random sizes and then I took a couple of additional sheets of pattern paper and just cut strips in different widths and I laid them randomly on the page um, nothing specific I did kind of try to mix up the greens and the reds a little bit but beyond that um, it was very random so I did that and then I took um, oh you know what I used some cardstock to set it off I'm sorry I used cactus so I put the strips on cactus cardstock just to kind of set it off a little bit and then um, to cover the top and bottom of the cactus strip I used more washi tape again from mittens and mistletoe the stripe the plaid one and that was it then I added a couple of strips of paper on the bottom and another strip of washi tape and then again for the title I used the original thickers the all is bright thickers um, and got the title and the holly and the little um, embellishments there in the corner you can see those um, so that was it for that layout and the last layout I did The last layout I did, I used the Frosted Peppermint 6x6. So this one is all red and white. And for this one, I used Imperial Red um, Glimmer cardstock for the base. And then I took full 6x6 sheets of two of the patterns and set them up diagonally. And then I took another six by six sheet and cut half inch strips and kind of set them up to hide the seams and also to look like washi tape, really. Um, so that was it. And then I took yet another two different six by six sheets and I cut four inch squares and set them in the center of the solid red and went back to all is bright and this time I pulled out the white letters and used them to embellish the pages. So that was pretty much it. Um, very straightforward layouts, each using a six by six paper pad. And um, I will have still shots of these on our Instagram page and some brief descriptions uh, or brief directions in the description page. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks, make it a great day.